if you have a group, let's say a group of staff or a group of investors, that's quite harmonious. It really only takes one unhealthy relationship uh, to kind of knock all of it out of balance. Managing investor relations is incredibly tricky and it's really an art within itself. It requires diplomacy, but also directness. For a really long time, um, we uh, hadn't set up very clear ground rules for what an investor could expect in return for their investment, other than obviously ownership over part of the company, and in some cases, a board seat. If I reflect back on that, I would advise you to set very, very clear rules for your investors. First of all, you are in charge of operations. The investor isn't. So if you have an investor or a board member that's constantly meddling in things that are operational, like the size of a budget, not the whole budget, but very sort of minute details of how you run your staff, how you hire your staff, what kind of furniture you're getting at the office, then you need to have a heart to heart about who runs the show. So I think at Canopy Lab, uh, historically, our investors have always felt that I uh, perhaps wasn't as forthcoming um, as they would have liked, but I think it's really important that you trust yourself. Uh, ask for help when you need help, but have very, very clear rules and expectations about what the board gets and what the investors get. So for example, many startups do a monthly or a quarterly update for their investors. You can do it via video or do it via email. I think a combination of the two is a quite uh, winning, you know, is a winning combo. Um, you decide collectively with your board what kind of metrics you're going to put into the update for your investors and what kind of metrics you're going to put into your monthly update for the board. So the board should always get it every month, but the investors, it's okay to do it on a quarterly basis if that's what you prefer. Here, in my experience, investors have a tendency to want to do something I call metrics hell. So they'll go on a website uh, or they've taken some business angel class and they'll say, I want, uh, you know, monthly recurring number of users segmented for all of the different segments you're working with. And all of a sudden you find yourself with a list of 25 or 50 metrics that your investors just really would super like to know about. You'll also sometimes see this in the negotiation phase with an investor that they'll say, can't you have your CFO pull me this and this and this and this and this? Well, if you're at the startup stage, you probably don't have a CFO yet. So you need again to set very realistic expectations to what kind of metrics drive value for the company. What metrics can we agree to in the board that the investors will be served with on a quarterly basis? And if there are wishes for more metrics, do they add value to the company? And are they reasonable for the stage that you're at? So right now in Canopy Lab, where we also have a VC, we have our metrics that we deliver now. And then we have a wish list of metrics. Some will come within the next three months, some within the next six months, and some will take up to a year to supply. Why is that? Well, for example, currently we don't divide out our users by all industry segments. So I can't tell you how many users we have from pharma or how many we have uh, from education or how many we have from um, hospitality. Is it interesting? Sure. Is time a zero sum game? Yes. So do I want my developers to spend their time on pulling out these metrics simply because they're interesting at this stage? No, because they're doing other stuff, like really, really cool stuff with natural language processing that services our client. So this is where you gotta trust your gut. You gotta trust that you are the closest one to the business and you have a right to say, you're getting this, but you're not getting this. But this conversation is easier to have before they invest and it's easier to have if your board is uh, you know, in line with your expectations.